at $899. They're not cheap, but that's what you gotta pay in Australia for a set of AirPods Max. Uh, and if you're watching from America, our dollar's different to yours. We're not paying more, our dollar's just different. Uh, if you are from Australia, hit like, hit subscribe, jangle the bell so you can get all the updates from all the videos we do here at EFTN. Now, out of the box, these are beautiful. As you would expect from Apple, all class, all quality. This uh, rubberized top with this mesh band that gives you a little bit of gentle support while not pushing too hard on your head. These beautiful steel chrome look edges here that connect the head to the, to the ear cups that just slide in and glide in beautifully. It's all magnificent and in fact, metal on the outside as well. And it's all about how the ear cups can continuously move and rotate to pretty much any position as opposed to being fixed that makes them theoretically extremely comfortable. So I think they look good, but I think they're the best looking headphones on the market. I think they look different. And I think that's what Apple wants because they want people to know that you're wearing the AirPods Max as you can with the AirPods. But I think the real question here is for $899, are they worth it? And the only way to really test that is to put them up against their competition. So let's do that. So here it is. I think this is your premium noise cancelling over ear headphone top of the market. Now obviously there's more expensive but that's just crazy talk. This is your consumer level uh, headphone market. Sennheiser's Momentum series you're talking $5.99 and you might get them a touch cheaper. Um, the Bose, now these are absolute crackers, $6.79 the retail price. You'll find them at $5.99 right now. The Sony uh, WH-1000 Mark IVs, um, these are $4.99 headphones at $3.95 at the moment, I've seen them. Um, they are, in my mind, up until now, the best headphones you can get for travel and noise cancelling and the like. And here are the Apple AirPods Max. Now, $8.99, that's a, that's a radical price shift, okay? That's probably great for these guys because it means that people are gonna see these at whatever price is affordable compared to the, uh, the AirPods Max. So look, let's just have a look at them all on first and just some of the basic features. So I mentioned the design here and color is an important part of this too. There's four different colors available. There's only um, two controls here. There's a button here for transparency, pass through audio. So if you've got noise cancelling on, you press that, you can hear through. And then there's a digital crown, just like the Apple Watch. And when there's no music playing, like I don't have any right now, uh, there is a beautiful little click that you hear as you just go up through the volume or down through the volume as the case may be. Um, and that's also a function button for a bunch of different actions, um, which, you know, you can't take a while to get used to, but broadly, that's how you control next track, last track, Siri and all those things. But that's it, there's nothing else. There's no touch controls here, uh, there's no other buttons. That's the limit of them. And on the underside, there's just one output connector. Now that output connector there, that's lightning and that's how you charge them because obviously battery life charging, very important. Now, I'm gonna address a really important question that's come up in a lot of the commentary about these um, straight from the start and that is, what if you wanna plug into the plane? What if you want to plug into an old iPod? What if you want to plug into a high definition uh, audio player? Well, there are cables that you can buy. Now you might be familiar with this one. This is the Belkin Lightning to 3.5 millimeter audio cable. Now I've had one of these for some time. I use it for um, outputting uh, music or sound from your iPhone into a car with just an auxiliary port. So theoretically, this one goes into the ear cup and into your phone or other device. But no, this one from Belkin is not bi-directional. It's an unbelievable cable. I love it, great for in the car, but it's not gonna help you here. You need to buy a specific lightning to 3.5 millimeter bi-directional cable. I've got no doubt that Belkin and others will release bi-directional cables, but I don't think they ever thought they would need to send audio from a 3.5 millimeter jack to a lightning connector when they designed these cables. So that will come from others, but there isn't one on the Apple store online that I've seen um, that's gonna set you back 40 or 50 bucks, but that'll allow you to plug into other things. Yes, it's not included in the box. Yes, Apple love to make you buy another cable, another dongle, but hmm, I would say 95%, maybe 99% of people buying these have no need for that cable. 
Um, frankly, when I'm traveling, I, I rarely plug in to the plane anymore. Um, if you've got 899 bucks, you've got Netflix, Stan, Disney Plus, you've got them all, and you're downloading all that content to your tablet, which is automatically pairing with your AirPods Max. Now, Sound quality is excellent. Uh, they reach a pretty good volume. Um, they have a very, um, very, not just audible bass, but it's a very, um, it's a bass you can feel. Like I, I was listening to, it might've just been a little Nas X or something, but I could, I could literally feel the bass coming through my, my, my head. Um, kind of like a subwoofer built in. And I only found that with two of these uh, and the AirPods Max was one of them. Um, uh, the other thing that these did in the top two out of all these was range. I was able to walk, leave my phone in the front corner of the house and walk to the backyard. I'm going to say 25, 30 meters uninterrupted before it started breaking out. So that's a po positive as well. I'll get to noise cancelling in a moment. The Bose. Now again, and one of my complaints about the, the Apple AirPods Max is they don't fold away. I know they come with a lovely little, little case and that's, let me just show you how that works here. You, you, un, you fold them out like that, you put them in here and it clips on there and there you go, you got your case. I can't see myself ever doing that, but okay, if you're gonna put them in a bag or something, that's how you put them in and it puts them into a low power mode uh, constantly so they're not draining the battery when they're not in use, which is very, very smart. So these are the Bose. Now, these are the new benchmark for Bose. They're not the QC35s, this is the, the headphone 700 um, and they have this kind of single stalk look uh, they come in a bunch of colors, but again, excellent noise cancelling, amazing sound. Um, they're, they're very soft on the head, whereas the AirPods, I do feel like they're, they're squeezing a bit more. Um, I don't feel like the AirPods are as big. I actually think that, that these stretch out more if you want them to. Um, these don't have as high a quality bass, and I would say these have the same clear audio signal as, uh, as the AirPods Max, just minus that... Um, that base. These ones though didn't go the full range. These, these would go about 15, maybe 20 meters, uh, through brick walls and the like. About half the range of the AirPods Max in terms of leaving your phone and, and going for a wander. Now that might be just around the house doing the cleaning or it might be up and down the aisles of the airplane, whatever you choose. So the Sony um, WH-1000 Mark IVs, you know, these are very hard to beat. Now, the Bose has a lot of uh, functional controls on them as well, but this is the pioneer of those kind of functional controls for, for volume and track, and also handover to get pass through for, for audio. I know Apple's got it with the transparency button, but maybe I'm just familiar with doing that on, on the Sony's. Now, these ones here have a very, a very crisp clarity about them. I actually found it to be a different sound um, style, a, a different uh, stage than, than the AirPods and the Bose. Um, and I think it, it's, it's a user choice thing, very subjective. If it's a very crisp sound, um, which is good and bad in some ways, but broadly, it's a brilliant sound from all of these. You're not gonna question the, the music audio quality of any of these. These also have a solid bass feel about them. So, you know, you really feel the bass when you're listening. They are lovely and soft on the ear. Now, I think that's partly because of the material they're using on the cups here. It's a kind of, um, uh, either a very, very gentle leather or, or a very, very good soft faux leather. Um, and they also have that, you know, off-ear uh, detection, which the AirPods also have, but they do fold up and they have a case that folds them away like that. I think I prefer the travel case of the Sonys and, and maybe even the Bose over, over the AirPods Max. And these ones here, the Sennheiser Momentum, these are a, uh, a really, really solid headphone. They actually, um, they have a much larger sound. Oh, hello. I'm gonna turn Adele off. Um, <laughs> they, <laughs> wow. They're, they're, I've got them on quite loud and they're very much paired with my phone right now. Um, they, I think they're bigger. I think they go bigger than any of the others. So if you've got a big head, you're good. Um, and they're, the way they extend is quite nice on this, this very nice metal, um, stalk that comes off the headphone. Uh, really simple button controls as well as a, a noise cancelling and a pass-through op option there. Um, the, the quality, beautiful leather, very clear metal. This is, um, this is really good value. I think they've, everything you pay for this kind of $5.99 is embodied in the design and the, and the manufacture of these. Sound quality wise, um, these also have a very clean feel, um, a very good bass, 
um, and they have a, a very high volume, I would say probably slightly the highest um, of all the headphones uh, that, that you're seeing here. Now, um, I need to pause that because she just won't stop singing. Um, now, the big thing for me here is noise cancelling. Um, these guys are the benchmark. These guys are very straight behind them. Now, what I do with noise cancelling tests, just so you know, especially when we're not travelling and you know can rotate through headphones like this, there's some really great white noise, um, aircraft jet noise you can get. And I play that at almost full bore on a, on a subwoofer soundbar in a very small room, which is acoustically padded. So it's very much um, attacking me. And I put them on and I listen and I give them a rating. You go through them two or three cycles to hear which ones are best. And I'm gonna tell you straight out, they are the best noise cancelling headphones that you can get. Apple AirPods Max. No doubt in my mind, they were better than the Sony's, which are, in my mind, the benchmark up until now for noise cancelling. Sony and, and Bose probably head to head. I think Sony just edged them very, very slightly. Sennheiser uh, lagged just slightly behind that. Um, but there's no doubt in my mind that these AirPod Max offer brilliant noise cancelling. Um, that said, is noise cancelling worth $500, remember, $395 you can buy these for, $899, $500 difference. Uh, even if these were $699 and these were $499, it's $200 difference, enough to pay for noise cancelling and perhaps that design. In my mind, no. I, I, just, I just don't know how to recommend these to people other than those people who are so deep in the Apple ecosystem that the convenience is far outweighing anything else. So for example, I open up my laptop and boom, it said AirPods Max paired. It, it's an automatic thing when you're in the ecosystem and you go from device to device. So from tablet to laptop to phone, you, you've got yourself covered in all situations. They're not a bad looking headphone. They're a, clearly a high quality headphone. The materials are excellent, very soft cup. Uh, there's, there's nothing negative to say about these headphones other than the price. And I think that's what's almost challenging for me here is that I, I'm not used to Apple anymore pricing themselves out of the market. For years, Apple have been renowned as these high priced laptops or whatever, but actually MacBooks are, are, are essentially affordable now compared to the high end PC equivalents. Our iPhones are affordable compared to the, to the Samsungs if you put them head to head. So it's not like they're super overpriced anymore, whereas these just stand out as being expensive. So look, they're expensive headphones. They turn on automatically when you put them on. Sound quality is amazing. You buy AirPods Max, you won't be disappointed. I'll tell you that. If you can afford $899, you're not going to be disappointed in them. They're not going to let you down. But if you really want over-ear headphones that give great quality music, have great range, have good bass, have good functions, um, it's very hard to go past the Sony WH-1000 Mark IVs or Mark III's, quite frankly. Um, so this is very much a product for people who want to show off and say they've got $899 and who want to be proud of the fact that they are all in on Apple. They've done an amazing job. These are beautiful, they sound great, and they work well, they're functional. I just can't justify the price. <laughs>